Hey chosen ones, what I want to do is talk about scenarios that happen to chosen ones, people that are truly sold out for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach in Hebrew. I, um, I want to tell you that betrayal is going to happen in your life if you're a believer. It's, it's probably going to happen more frequently. The older you get, you'll get better with it because you'll see it coming before it happens. You'll know it's going to happen even before you sign up for what you're signing up for. Okay. And nine times out of 10, it's the job you're working or, if, you know, clicks or people that you decide to um, yoke up with and do business or social. It can happen in any of those settings. Okay. It can happen walking into a restaurant, just ordering some, you know, some food. Okay. Some demonically possessed person, can do something outrageous or they can be subtle with it. They can be sneaky. You never know. So you got to remember, Yeshua Jesus knew that Judas was going to betray him, but it was for a greater purpose. He, it had to be done, okay, because he knew that ultimately that he was going to lay his life for the sins of the world and shed that blood for our sins. So he knew that that had to happen. Okay, in our lives, things are going to happen That'll hurt your heart, okay? There's people going to let you down. Did you, you know, because if you believe in Yeshua, Jesus as your Savior, you love people. You're Holy Spirit filled. You're you're happy. You love people. You want to, you want to encourage. You want to make things happy, okay? Well, in this world, not everybody's like that. Most of them are not. You know, the Bible talks about the wheat and the tares. There's, there's going to be a, you know, a big difference. So you got to, you know, you got to consider all these things, all right? And, um, you know, a lot of people that are, a lot of men that are that are strong, that really stand up for what's right and just don't watch the Dallas Cowboys and are like, yay, and want to go to McDonald's, they, they think outside the box, you know, they want some organic, you know, grass-fed beef and some vegetables grown in someone's garden that doesn't have any pesticides on them. You know, you're different. You know, other people, they'll eat the McDonald's, watch the Cowboys, you know, go high school football team. But when you're spiritually discernment and you're kingdom minded, things are different. Okay. And you want to, you want to do them different. Um, people will come against you and it will, you know, it can hurt your heart because ultimately, you know, we, we love to have social. We love to have people love us. We love to have friends. You know, everybody does. It's not always going to work like that. In this day and age, it's about what have you done for me lately or do you want to be my boyfriend or girlfriend? That's that's people or can I make money? Can I deceive you? Okay. The most powerful thing is when you don't fall into that trap and you stand for what's right and what's good and you do it no matter where you're at. Okay. I'm going to bring up the name Yeshua, Jesus, Yahuwah, God in front of everybody no matter where I'm at. I'm going to do it. When I was younger, you know, I was a little bit, you know, more scared, but I'm 52 now. Uh-uh. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not backing off that. Doesn't mean I'm going to be over the top, you know, with somebody, but when I can deliver a message of hope and give them, um, you know, tell them about our, our savior, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it every time. When I can encourage somebody who's down, I'm going to do that. All right. And you should want to do that too. But most people want to act like, you know, especially in a bar setting or any kind of like work setting, there's all this competition. Everybody wants to be, you know, above one another. And, um, if, you know, if a guy can't whoop you, then he wants to out money or something. You know, he's going to find somewhere he can, you know, beat you. If, if they have that mindset, girls, they have their own battles. Um, you know, I don't understand them quite as much because I'm not a female, but I know females have uh, their territorial and, um, you know, they gossip and, and do all that, and they know how to hurt each other, too. Men do the same way. We should really want to love and edify and encourage each other and be you know glorified in the kingdom. But we're here in this Babylon dimension right now, so it doesn't always work like that. And if you're a chosen one, your steps are going to be different. And, you know, you think that you can go into certain places and with good intentions and, you, and like, you know, I can go into a job and I know, well, it's going to work this long. Okay, I can tell the person that's going to come against me, 
and they're going to be weird and, and they're going to do that little gossip. You know, I can read it now. I've been around it so much. I can see it before it happens. I'm just waiting for it to happen and, and trying to do, make, make the best of it until that situation finalizes and it comes to fruition. All right. So now, you know, it's like, you know, I'll give you an example. I've did security in bars all over, you know, um, Texas and, you know, most of my life. And, you know, at 52, uh, had, hadn't done it in a while. And, you know, I had to do it recently. And you go into places that are, you know, are dark. Okay. And this last place I, you know, didn't think would be, you know, that bad. And, you know, it really wasn't, but there's always going to be that gossip or people. And then there's, you know, people, when anytime there's, anytime there's booze or alcohol around, you can, you know, it's just a matter of time before something stupid happens or some kind of fight or some kind of gossip or, or weirdness. It's alcohol is going to do it every time. But when you stand up for what's right and you go against one of the, um, the fraternity brothers who tr who tried to do something disrespectful and you call them out on it, you just call them out on it. You're not like trying to say, Hey, I'm going to beat you up. You're just saying, Hey, I'm calling you out on that. Don't do it. Okay. Anytime you're you're a bouncer or anything in a bar, your time's limited. Especially like you know if you're a guy like me around two ten to two twenty, you know people want to try you more. Even though I'm more skilled than most, you know a lot of big guys are six four two eighty and what have you. Not saying that um, I can you know beat everybody up or anything like that. I'm just saying that you know I can hold my own. But you know in the bouncer sit scenario. The 6'4", 280 guy, even if he's the biggest sissy in the world, he can get by on just his size, okay? So that that happens. And so, like, you're going to be tried more, especially if you got a little looks and a little charisma to you. I got the puppies in here wanting some petting right now. Shug shugs, okay. But thing is, the bouncer scenario, really and truly, it's – if you're not six six four, you know, two eighty, you know, fat guy or whatever, you know, I'm not saying all of guys but are fat or whatever, but it's 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 even gonna be more challenging, especially if the ladies you you know, think you're handsome and you know, in, in large part. That that can you know, that causes problems because guys get jealous. Even if you're working in honor, you're you're not doing that, you're just coming there doing the job, being nice, going above and beyond. To do, to do service for what you're getting paid. That's how I operate when I work. But, you know, some guy comes in, he gets jealous, he starts a little stuff, then he twists the truth, all right? And then you're the odd man out. And I've had that happen to me a whole lot in life. And I'm okay with it, because I knew it was gonna happen, I knew it was just a matter of time, and I was ready to get out, okay? And the cool thing is, is sometimes you go through these things with people that you really cared about and like. Some of them, you'll see each other again in life and your bond will be stronger and they'll realize, you know, what they've done and, and, and they'll come to you. And some you won't, you know, you just hope you could see them in heaven. You can be betrayed by, by people close to you, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your best friends your coaches, okay? I mean, um, I've been betrayed by, you know, like uh, coaches when I um, was doing jujitsu when I first started out. You know, I was winning this big tournament, you know, in, in an open class, you know, light heavyweight. Wasn't supposed to do it, but I knew I could. I knew what was in, in, in here and in here. I knew I knew I could do it. And, you know, finally, you know, my coach come over there and acted like, oh, you know, this is my boy and everything. And, and I needed him from the get-go, okay? But see, those things taught me a lesson. I rely on Yahua, Yeshua. That's it. When you get, you get to a point, chosen ones, when you can just rely on them and know that, you know, bad things will happen. Don't let it destroy you. Don't let it make you hate those people. Truth always comes out. It just does. It might take a while, but the truth always comes out. And if you know in your heart that you did right, 
and things that people are saying are not true, that's all you can do because the angels are writing down the truth. They're reporting to Yahuwah. That's all that matters. You know from your heart what you did, chosen one, was the right steps. And you know you worked in, um, in honesty, in honor, and respect for others. That's all you can do. So remember, chosen ones, when Judas betrayed Yeshua, Jesus, there was a reason for it. And that happens in your life. It might be to get you to go in a different direction, not where you were. So just take it like that move forward it's like right now um you know i've got a job that you know i can pay my bills i can get by it's it's tough it's physical it's a little bit dirty but i'm grateful for it and i know that father you know he'll keep blessing me i just gotta keep working in excellence i gotta keep loving people and you gotta forgive those who betray you and twist the truth because the truth will always come out you will be vindicated. And remember, your time here on earth, it's just like a vapor. It's, I mean, you're here and gone. This is just your test. Who are you going to choose? Are you going to choose life in Yeshua, or are you going to choose death in the devil? I'm going to choose life in Yeshua, and you should too. You guys be blessed.